Hello YouTube, this is Daniel again, and uh, right before I do my test bench video, I'm going to go ahead and show you the more specific um, video, video, video on the Gigabit 78 LMT USB 3 motherboard with the AM3 Plus socket. Alrighty, let's begin. So, to start we have a PS2 keyboard and mouse combination connector right there, as you can tell by the green and the blue connector. And we have um, two USB 2.0 ports right on top of it. We are have uh, VGA and DVI connectors, a um, HDMI connector. Keep getting emails. All right. Anyway, I have eight HDMI connector. And then uh, two USB 3.0 ports. A and then two more USB 2.0 ports. The combination of two external USB 2 ports gigabit ethernet right above it and usual blue or um, I think microphone in or that's microphone and I don't know um, in whatever microphone in head, um, headphone jack and uh, line in jacks I think that's right yeah I do know the green one is headphones Anyway, we are greeted with um, three slots, one regular PCI slot for modem or a video card or something, or a TV tuner card I meant, um, and then a PCIe times one card, or most people refer to this just as a PCIe slot. It is the short version of the PCI slot. And a PCI 16, uh, PCIe times 16 card used normally for video cards and then we have a clock calendar right back here there it is the Express PCI Express 2 and yep I don't know what the number uh, I remember now um the number the reason why it shows where is it um okay, I lost it um there it is. The reason why it shows 108 decibels, that shows that that's what the these outputs can handle with on the motherboard. There's the AM3 Plus socket, which can take um, other versions, AM3, and then AM3 Plus, AM3 2, and AM2 Plus, I think. Um, I think that's the fan cooler app attachments. I don't know if I need to remove them when I put my fan in. I don't think so. Anyway, um, this is... Um, I think a regulator of some sort and this is the 12 volt ATX connector all the screw holes do have some sort of form of grounding on them back here we have the PCIe connector I'm sorry now eight the ATX connector I think that's 24 pin there's one IDE connector and there are the two SATA ports SATA port 4 and 5 and these back here are 0, 1, 2, 3, um, 0, 1, 2, and 3. This is the master and the backup BIOS. The, this is the master one. And a backup BIOS right next to it. And it says dual BIOS as advertised. Um, let me flip this board around because right now you guys are seeing this all upside down. And I should maybe look at it like this. That's better. Um, so all the capacitors are in these um, metal capacitors are all metal they call it solid capacitors solid caps I think there is the on and off charge advertisement for the um, ability to charge when the machines off um, AM3 plus advertisement and uh, SATA 2 advertisement well, actually I thought maybe it would be SATA 3 no, it is just SATA 2. I think this is only 3 gigabytes per second. 3 gigabytes per second motherboard. Um, I don't know why it's not SATA 3. Oh, I, maybe they just came out. And then there's your uh, slots for connecting your light, your speaker, and your uh, power switches. There's the two front, uh, the two USB 2.0 headers I was talking about. There's the USB 3 header. COM printer, uh, the COM port and the um, pr uh, parallel port, SPDIF out, is that one right next to the front audio, 
connector, so front audio header and a SPDIF connector out. And this is the Revision 5 motherboard. Revision, uh, the Revision before this is Revision 4.1, and that one is blue. And it has a little bit less, um, a little bit less known manufacturers manufacturing parts in this computer or in this motherboard. For example, in this one, it's like um, I think I don't know. Uh, here, let me pull the manual out. I think in the um, earlier revision, they didn't have they had like um, well they where they weren't um, not com they were com they weren't common, but they were common manufacturers in version 4.1, but they were not as well known or not as Not as uh, popular as the others. So here is the um, specs. There's the support for the processors. And audio uses a VIA chip, VIA T2021 um, codec, high definition audio. The LAN is a Realtek a gigabit LAN chip for 10 megabits, 1000 meg 10, 100, 1000 megabits. There's the three slots. And uh, my guess was correct. The SATA is three gigabits. Um, one IDE connector supporting ATA 100, 66, and 33, and up to two IDE devices connect to that can then connect to that adapter or to that slot. You um, the the uh, motherboard does come with the software I just showed in the previous video on CD and uh, two um, SATA connectors that are blue for your hard drive data and. Um, of course, your um, um, I/O shield, as well as the IDE um, connector with two IDE ports for your two different devices that could take it. And um, there's USB, US up to eight USB 2.0 and 1.1 ports, four ports on the back panel, and four ports available through the internal USB headers. And um, that's for the US. It uh, does not say what the chipset is for the USB 2.0 headers, but the uh, USB 3 headers use the VIA, uh, VL805 chip. Can support two ports on the back panel and two ports available through the internal USB header. And there's your internal connectors one system fan and one CPU connector, um, six SATA 3 gigabits per second connectors. Uh, well, this is the second part of that page. Um, two um, front panel audio connectors, one front panel header. I don't know what that means, and one front panel audio header. Uh, one SPDIF out connector uh, header. Um, one USB 3 slash 2.0 header, and two USB 2.0 slash 1.1 headers. One serial port header and one parallel port header, and a clear CMOS jumper. There's the combined PC2, PS2 ports I was telling you about, VGA, DVID, HDMI, and three audio jacks. I.O. controller uses the ITE I.O. controller chip. If you use that software, this is what the software will tell you. Um, if you use the software that came on the disk to monitor your motherboard, this is what you would use. The BIOS is two 32 megabit flash BIOSes used of the award BIOS support for dual BIOS which is the backup BIOS system and some other unique features that come with the uh, motherboard most of these require that software to use them um, the software on the CD comes with Norton sec Internet Security support for 7 and XP and the micro ATX form factor for 2.4 centimeters by 2.4 centimeters the recommended um, power supply that you use for this is 500 watts or greater. If you plan to use a big, ginormous, or a high-end graphics um, card. What else? Um, there's your system fan header, and uh, where is the CPU fan header? Um, oh, there it is, back behind the cables for pin so that is the motherboard and a couple of heat sinks here and there um, 
That is the Gigabit 78 LMT USB 3 motherboard. And um, after a little bit more setup, I'm going to get go ahead and begin with the uh, test bench um, uh, setup. See you all later in a few minutes.